is forever and ever. And the reason is because the scepter of thy kingdom, the authority of thy kingdom derives from righteousness. Just in case you want your life to be stable, you want your life to be unhackable, you will need to, because most people don't want their lives to be unhackable, but I want my life to be unhackable. Are you there? That's the reason why I would not play with sin. Because the moment I'm beginning to travel in sin, I have a meeting ground with the enemy. That's a ground for negotiation. I have arrived a trading floor and I'm willing to negotiate. How many of you have been to where stocks are sold? It's, it's not a quiet place so much of noise because as the some stocks begin to appreciate the people call the owner of the stocks are you willing to sell at this point you already have a, a 20 pound margin for each share so it's the, the moment you begin to toil with sin you bring yourself into the trading floor and negotiations about your destiny and possibility begin to go on if you are still with me, say amen. amen. Some of us were born in places where witchcraft is not hidden. People send, you can go to the market and buy some demons. Yes. Laura, you can, have you heard of demon market? You buy some demons and you, they will teach you the incantations. Most politicians in Africa use, use those demons. They are dwarf demons. Ah, we don't have any Ghanaian that grew up in Ghana here. Any Ghanaian? Did you grow up in Ghana? Did you ever visit Northern Ghana? Are you, they don't go there. They don't go there. Yes, even Ghanaians don't go there. I went there. And I'm going there after this UK missions, I'm going to the north. Yeah. Ghanaians won't go there because Satan lives there. That's where, if you want to meet Satan, you want a contract with Satan, you want a deal with Satan. That's one of the places to go. All oh, my friends from Ghana here. <laughs> I've been there. And I know how you can take possession of a demon. And you pay, if you can pay the right price, Three, they'll give you three um, demon dwarfs, but you need to raise an altar to them. Yes, you need to raise an altar to them. You must be devoted to the altar and then you'll be taught the vocabulary on how to give commands to those demons and that's what we call enchantment. So where some of us were raised, demonic activity was prevalent. And if you say you are a Christian, and you don't know God, you are going to be the most miserable human being. Because these guys know the devil. But unfortunately for you, you don't know God. And the Bible says, it's the people that do know their God that will be strong and that will do exploit. He didn't say, I know you, you think you are reading something into that scripture. He didn't say the people that do know Jehovah. He said the people that do know their God. So the guy that knows Shungo, He's a strong man and he can do exploits. The guy that knows the water spirit of the airway people, the airway tribe, he's a strong man. Ah, he can do exploits. But the point is this the average believer does not know God. So we are always victims. And what church is, is a dancing place. So it's like fun. Like we are just coming to get excited. And that's what the current apostolic move that God is pioneering in the earth is designed to change. It's to bring the knowledge of Christ and his administration and teach the average Christian what it means and what it takes to bring God on the scene, to bring God into your situation to bring God into your circumstances 
the guys that serve the devil can bring the devil into their fight they can bring the devil into their warfare they can bring demons into their arguments they can they can silence people that are threats around their lives they can bring satan into their situation but the believer only knows how to dance on sunday morning meanwhile life is practical life is practical we've lost nations nations territories that were that were colonized by jesus generations later we lost them to the devil and it's not that easy to take back something that the devil has captured it's easy for you to lose a revival in your life there was a spark a volcano was still alive in your spirit and, it, it, and you became you became you became you became careless it's easy for you to lose that spark but you see the guy that is serving the devil it's not easy for him to stop connecting with satan because satan will threaten him the day you leave so he's intimidated into alignment are you are you with me but you see in the house of god because god will not hunt you god doesn't even want your worship if he's not willing he doesn't qualify as worship to him so he doesn't need to intimidate you you will need to make a choice for him that means you chose him on monday you chose him on tuesday you chose him on wednesday even though um, there were familiar spirits around people were advertising them you chose him on that's that's when he becomes worship so if you decide to turn your back on him he will not insist that you follow him no but satan will will hmm. So you find out that people that serve the devil are more committed in their service than people that are serving God because they, the guy serving God believes is optional. So he doesn't need to pray, it's optional. He doesn't need to fast. So Christianity became weak. We became weak until we became wicked. Started yielding to the devil without knowing it. What God wants to do right now is to raise a new breed in the body of Christ across the nations of the world. And I've been from place to place to prophesy about the wind that God wants to release from the heavens into the earth. He's looking for ordinary people, not people that are champions in themselves, just ordinary people. Anyone that wheels he can make a giant out of that person so i was telling you about the place where the throne of jesus is domiciled it is far above principalities it is far above powers it is far above dominion it is far above every name that is named and just like I told you, if a CEO gives a directive, someone that is a DEX officer cannot counteract that directive because the plane from whence the CEO is operating administratively is far above that of the DEX officer. We know that the DEX officer has some duties around the office, but his duties can never contradict the wishes of the CEO because they are not on the same level. It is expected therefore that since Satan and God are not on the same level and your life is a life that is connected to the administration of God, your life is supposed to reveal that you are not on the same level with an 